Time now for the morning rush. We begin with that breaking news out of the Bosque. You're taking a live look at Central and Sunset from our roof cam. You can see smoke is billowing from that area. And this is the same spot where there was a fire that burned more than an acre yesterday. Now, there's no word on if this is the same fire, but that earlier one was fully contained. You can see right there a live look that there are crews on the ground this morning. And last night's fire officials said, again, was fully contained. And we will keep following the story for you throughout the morning and updating you hopefully at noon. And uh, more news we want to pass along to you. Police say they're preparing to excavate the scene on the West Mesa where human remains were found on Tuesday. Now, officials say this was discovered while crews were moving dirt from a future park to the memorial being built for the original West Mesa murder victims. Now, the remains of 11 women and one unborn child were found on the West Mesa nearly a decade ago. Officials say crews were hauling dirt from the future Anderson Heights neighborhood park. And this was going to the West Mesa Memorial Park when they uncovered the new human remains on Tuesday. Now they are also expected to sift through dirt, which was moved to the memorial. And of course, we will continue to follow the latest developments for you on this story. You can also find more information about the West Mesa murders online at krqe.com or on the KRQE News app. Kristen? Spotty to scattered storms return to New Mexico today, favoring the northern mountains, higher terrain of western New Mexico, and even central areas likely to see at least a few of those spotty storms try and make it into the Rio Grande Valley. And this will continue as we get into Friday. Mountain areas looking at the potential for some very heavy rainfall leading to flash flooding. David? Happening today, the woman who climbed onto the base of the Statue of Liberty and forced a park shutdown is being arraigned on various charges this morning. Those include trespassing. Now, police were able to escort her back down after a nearly four-hour standoff. Federal officials say the woman was protesting the separation of children from parents who illegally crossed the southern border. And also happening today, journalists around the world are being asked to observe a moment of silence at 2.33 this afternoon, marking one week since the deadly shooting at the Capitol Gazette. Now, the moment is for the five employees who were killed. Also happening today, people in Clovis continue to remember the little boy who died a year ago from possibly swimming in a Clovis pond. 12-year-old Jevion Lewis was swimming in the Hillcrest Park pond on the 4th of July last year when he went under and swallowed a lot of water. It was later learned he was infected by cholera bacteria in the pond and died days later. Now, according to the current Argus, Jevion's mother is now suing the city for wrongful death. She claims the city's lack of restriction to the pond resulted in his death. And happening now, San Juan County deputies are searching for three men they say they may, that may have been threatening a Kirtland man who fired a gun at a gas station. This happened Sunday at the Circle K in Flora Vista. This is between Farmington and Aztec. Deputies say surveillance video shows Dustin Stripling threatening three men with a shotgun after he says they threatened to kill him. Deputies say one of the men fired a gun in the air as Stripling was leaving. Stripling then opened fire. And happening now, an Albuquerque nonprofit has just received a grant to help disabled victims of sexual assault. According to the Santa Fe New Mexican, the Ark of New Mexico received an $81,000 grant from the New Mexico Crime Victims Reparation Commission to help with their new sexual assault services program. The grant will allow the nonprofit to provide legal aid and treatment referrals to 25 people from six counties. And new this morning, a Santa Fe-based tech firm is offering people a stake in their company. Solstar wants to bring commercial Wi-Fi to, air, to, to space. Rather, According to the Santa Fe New Mexican, Solstar founder and CEO recently filed a statement with the SEC asking for approval to raise money through investments in the company. Now, if an investment of $10,000 is made, the investor qualifies for a visit to the Texas launch site where the company is planning a second test launch of the, its equipment. And this morning, just hours after the Bernalillo County Fire Department said goodbye to one of their own, police are still investigating what caused Nathan Urbany to crash. Urbany was off duty traveling west on Alameda on Sunday when he lost control of his motorcycle, hitting a guardrail. He was pronounced dead on scene. A special memorial service was held for Urbany yesterday, and we will keep following this story for you. Kristen? Metro threat index up to a five today, looking at breezy conditions out of the east. Those winds 10 to 20 miles per hour and some spot storms possible. Rainfall, some lightning in the mix too, and the gusty winds kicked out from those storms. So keep the umbrella on standby both today and again tomorrow. David? And happening now, many are likely waking up wondering why there was a delay for the fireworks portion of the show at Freedom Fourth. According to the Albuquerque Fire Rescue, high winds delayed the 23-minute fireworks show. The display was supposed to start at 9.15, but did not go on until 10.15. And you can see several show attendees actually left Balloon Fiesta Park before the show even happened. 
Organizers anticipated about 60,000 people were in attendance. And teachers from three APS schools have been on Kirtland Air Force Base learning how to establish a maker space within their own schools. It's an area in which students can use high-tech technology for lessons and projects. Officials say very few schools have technology like this, so they have given teachers all of the tools and equipment to take back to their schools for this upcoming year. Kristen? For a check on your morning commute, we do have problems up on Tramway this morning. Tramway is closed in both directions uh, between Comanche and Candelaria. Your alternate route there would be Juan Tubo. That is closed due to a crash. Of course, we'll keep tabs on that, let you know when it does reopen. A record setting win all happening in New York City. This is one man took home the title at the Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest. But this is not the first win for Joey Chestnut. In fact, it's his 11th. He downed 74 hot dogs in 10 minutes at the July 4th competition on Coney Island, thus breaking the world record of 72 dogs, which he himself set last year. As for the women's competition, Mickey Sudo won her fifth straight title, downing 37 hot dogs. Right now, date planner shows more cloud cover today in temperature about 85 near lunch, 90 degrees this afternoon. We've got some spotty storms possible here in the metro today. So as you're walking out the door to get where you need to go this morning, don't forget that umbrella. It's going to be western two thirds of the state, including the northern mountains, favored for the best coverage today. This will hug the mountain areas tomorrow, but even into this weekend, we're going to be tracking some spotty to scattered storms. And because of all that moisture, the cloud cover and the showers, we are going to be looking at cooler temperatures back to down to the upper 80s and low 90s through early next week. Let's now take you to the five facts. We're going to kick things off with number five. The new Santa Ana Star Casino Hotel in Bernalillo is now open. The high end hotel has 204 guest rooms, plenty of amenities at that, including a steakhouse, indoor pool and fitness center. It also features mountain views and an event space for visitors. Managers say the hotel has created roughly 230 jobs in the area. And at number four, many are likely waking, waking up wondering the reason for the delay of the annual fireworks portion of the show at Freedom Fourth. According to Albuquerque Fire Rescue, high winds delayed the 23-minute fireworks show. The display was supposed to start at 9.15, but did not go on until 10.15. Now, you can see several show attendees actually left the park before the show even happened, but for those who stayed, also expressed a little disappointment. Now, organizers with the Cultural Services Department with the city anticipated about 60,000 people were in attendance. At number three, mostly cloudy skies, some spotty storms, breezy conditions, and a high near 90 today here in the metro. Heavy rain possible for the northern mountains. Flash flood watches kick in at noon. We are continuing to favor rain chances through the weekend and temperatures near average. At number two, an Albuquerque woman is now facing lesser charges after allegedly admitting to drinking and driving, then being involved in a crash that killed a pedestrian. Valerie Nieto was initially charged with homicide by vehicle, but it's now been changed to just great bodily harm. This is despite the man dying because of the crash. It's still unclear who changed the charges and when, but what we do know is that it came down to what her attorney argued in court. Her next appearance is slated for August 3rd. That brings us to number one. Police say they are preparing to excavate the scene on the West Mesa. This is where human remains were found on Tuesday. Now, this was discovered while crews were moving dirt from a future park to the original West Mesa site. Now, the remains of 11 women and one unborn child were found on the West Mesa nearly a decade ago. Officials say crews were hauling dirt from that future Anderson Heights neighborhood park to the West Mesa Memorial Park when they uncovered the remains. And of course, police are still not sure yet who they belong to or if they're connected to the original West Mesa killings. It's also unclear what the future is for the Anderson Heights Park and the Memorial Park project.